aviation schools say there could soon be an increased demand for pilots, but not necessarily the kind who will fly you and your family maybe to New York. We're talking about pilots for unmanned aircraft or drones. CBS 5 Jason Kata explains how this type of flying requires a completely different skill set than traditional flying. Well, the future of aviation technology is here. No longer do pilots have to be up in the air to fly an aircraft. Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University is one of only three universities in the country offering courses in unmanned aircraft systems. And the university is seeing more and more interest every year. We started in the early days with about five or ten students and that quickly uh, mushroomed into a, and we're a, a student body of under 2,000. So 40 out of 2,000 is a significant portion of our student body. And the future is looking bright for the program. We see the program probably continuing to grow 10 or 15, 20 students a year to a size of two or 300 students. Currently, Embry-Riddle Prescott only offers a minor in unmanned aircraft systems, but it could be offered as a major down the road. If it comes together as a major, it still needs to have the disciplines of engineering, of aviation, and of security and business and intelligence all combined together. Students tell us that flying an unmanned aircraft carries a whole different set of challenges. Unmanned is a lot about the systems integration and making it autonomous and then actually getting it in the air, flying by itself, hopefully operating on its own for the most part. It's still going to have a ground operator and a safety operator, but for the most part, a lot of the work it's doing is on its own. And now it's 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, launch, launch, launch. In this lab, the only one of its kind in the country, manned and unmanned aircraft are flown simultaneously. We're able to incorporate and kind of simulate um, unmanned systems in the national airspace system. And today, as a matter of fact, an Embry-Riddle professor and student are on their way to the Philippines with one of these aircraft to aid in aerial mapping following last month's devastating typhoon. In Prescott, Jason Cato, CBS 5 News.